Okay, this is for everybody with a problem with uh, your screen looking like this. And no matter what you do, well, basically, what happened is where the beam finder is soldered to the board, it's a bad connection. So what I did was I'll go underneath the switch here and I cram the little thing in here and I'm going to glue that in position. So if not, like I said, what you get is, is a display kind of like this. Or if you have a signal on it, it would actually only be about this big. Uh, anyway, before you go looking through and adjusting all the other parts, uh, you could always check the power supply right here. Real simple, right in front of the supply. There's jumpers right here, down in here. to show you all the voltages. And you could also need to check right over here, make sure that these two wires, there's two vertical, and on the very bottom, there's two, excuse me, there's two horizontal leads. You can look there to see if you're getting a signal. If those signals are diminished, what's that? What's happening is the beam finder is not working. So again, if your beam finder is not working and your display looks kind of like this, you know, with no signal on it, it's just the bad switch. Wedge something underneath the beam finder, glue it in place, because in reality, you cannot get to the circuit without taking out the boards, and I didn't want to do all that. So, hope that's a lot easier than trying to troubleshoot everything. I went through the whole circuit and finally figured out that the beam finder wasn't working. So, this fixes, this fixes the problem with the um, uh, 2235 uh, Tektronix scope. And uh, when you 